Baja Caves is a group of 22 rock-cut caves dating back to the 2nd century BC located in the city of Pune, India. The caves are 400 feet above the village of Baja, on an important ancient trade route running from the Arabian Sea eastward into the Deccan Plateau. The inscriptions and the cave temple are protected as a monument of national importance, by the Archaeological Survey of India per notification no. 2407a. It belongs to the Hinayana Buddhism sect in Maharashtra. The caves have a number of stupas, one of their significant features. The most prominent excavation is its Chaitya, a good example of the early development of this form from wooden architecture, with a vaulted horseshoe ceiling. Its Vihara has a pillared veranda in front and is adorned with unique reliefs. These caves are notable for their indications of the awareness of wooden architecture. The carvings prove that tabla, a percussion instrument, was used in India for at least 2,300 years, disproving the centuries-held belief that the tabla was introduced to India by outsiders or from Turco-Arab. The carving shows a woman playing tabla and another woman, performing dance. They are some 9 kilometers west from the Beds Caves. Other caves in the area are Karla Caves, Patan Buddhist Cave, and Nasik Caves. The Baja Caves share architectural design with the Karla Caves. The most impressive monument is the large shrine, Chaitayagraha, with an open, horseshoe arched entrance. According to the Archaeological Survey of India, the Chaitayagra is the most prominent aspect of the caves, and one of the earliest of the type. The Chaitriya has unique reliefs from Indian mythology. Other caves have a nave and aisle, with an apse containing a solid tupa and the aisle circling round the apse, providing the circumambulation path. Hindu god Surya and Indra guarding the entrance of the 1st century BC Buddhist Cave 19 at Baja Caves. Chaiti Gray has some Buddha images. A cistern inscription shows the name of a donor, Maharadi Kosakaputa Vinudata, from the 2nd century AD. A wooden beam records two more inscriptions datable to the 2nd century BC, which indicates caves have been there for at least 2,200 years. Eight inscriptions are found in the caves, some giving the name of the donors. The sculptures feature elaborate headdress, garlands, and jewelry. They might have originally been painted in bright colors but later covered with plaster. Characteristic for early Buddhism, initially the caves had symbolic Buddha representation. After 4 AD Buddha was painted in physical form as well. Near the last cave is a waterfall that, during the monsoon season, flows water into a small pool at the bottom. These caves also provide important proof regarding the history of the tabla, or pushkara then called, an Indian percussion instrument, since carvings from 200 BC show a woman playing tabla and another performing a dance. Stone carving of woman playing tabla at Bajay Caves outside stupas A notable part of the monument is a group of 14 stupas, 5 inside and 9 outside an irregular excavation. The stupas are relics of resident monks, who died at Baja, and display an inscription with the names of three monks, Ampinika, Damagiri, and Sangdina. One of the stupa shows Stavarana Bhadanta means the Venerable Reverend inscribed on it. The stupa particulars show the name of the monks and their respective titles. The stupas have been carved very elaborately and two of them have a relic box on their upper side. Names of monks have been titled with theris. It is a regular vihara, 14 feet square, has two cells on each side and three on backside. The Chaitya window is ornamental all over cell doors. Plowman's wife, Bodhi, gifted this vihara as her name is inscribed on cell door. Rail pattern ornament, broken animal figures, veranda is on frontal side. It is similar to cave 8 at Pandavlini Caves. The Chaitya at Baja Caves is perhaps the earliest surviving Chaitya Hall, constructed in the 2nd century BCE. It consists of an apsidal hall with stupa. The columns slope inwards in the imitation of wooden columns that would have been structurally necessary to keep a roof up. The ceiling is barrel vaulted with ancient wooden ribs set into them. The walls are polished in the Mauryan style. It was faced by a substantial wooden facade, now entirely lost. A large horseshoe-shaped window, the Chaitya window, was set above the arched doorway and the whole portico area was carved to imitate a multi-storied building with balconies and windows and sculptured men and women who observed the scene below. This created the appearance of an ancient Indian mansion. Chaitya is 26 feet 8 inches wide and 59 feet long, with semicircular apse at back, and having all 3 feet 5 inches wide, separated from the nave by 27 octagonal shaft. 11 feet 4 inches height. The Dagoba is 11 feet diameter at the floor. This resembles the Khandana Caves. The pillar has seven different symbols of Buddha shown in floral form, buds, leaves, fan. Plan of the site this seems to be destroyed. 
It may have been of wood construction in ancient times. It is 30 feet long and 14. 5 feet deep. It is in a rail pattern, with a few cells at the back and a bolt door system. This cave is facing towards northern side 6 feet 8 inches wide and 25. 5 feet deep, with 7 cells. Stone benches, square windows, stone beds, are observed in the cells. It can be reached by stairs to the south of cave 14. It is a small Vihara 12. 5 wide and 10 feet deep. It has two semicircular niches and a bench on right side. This facade has three Chaitya arches and the rail pattern. It is a small Vihara 18. 5 feet long and 12. 5 deep, with 5 cells, one of the cell has a bench in it. It has two inscriptions, one of which is damaged. Cell door inscription describes the gift of cell from Natasava, a Naya of Pogwati. One more inscription over two wells in one. Recess describes a religious gift of cistern by Vinudatta, son of Kosiki, a great warrior. It is a monastery with a veranda. The door has guardian figures on both sides. This cave has Surya riding a chariot and Indra riding on an elephant. Thanks for watching.